Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Baisang Yesun Wike, has cautioned against a beachy protest in the nation's capital. The warning came in response to the actions of traders from the Apo Mechanic Village who staged a protest demanding the signing of a lease agreement for their permanent site at the Wasa district in Apo. Vice Wike emphasized the importance of proper channels for protest to garner government attention effectively. FCT correspondent Naomi Uleribe now completes the report. Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Baris Tanyasom Wike, was reacting to the action of traders from the Apo Mechanic Village who besieged the entrance of the Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA Secretariat, demanding that the FCT minister sign the lease agreement to enable them to move to their permanent site at Wasa District. And what I don't like is intimidation. If you have a problem, tell them your problem to me. Then if I don't solve it, then you can take another step. Something that has happened since 2015, you didn't do anything. The ministers came and gone. I just came. You have not even written to me. Sir, we want to see you. That's a problem we're having. We think you can help us to solve that uh, problem. Then you're coming to say the, the good things I'm doing. What good things? <laughs> no, you don't, you don't need the good things. So what you should do? Tell your people to go. They write to me that you want to see me. Then we'll sit down and talk. But I will not talk with you by these things we are doing here. I'm not one of those ones anybody will come and intimidate. You should know me very well. Chairman of Apo Traders Association, Chemezie Ife, had earlier expressed frustration over the prolonged wait since 2006 and the significant financial investments made. We, the traders in Abuja in 2006, where we are in Apo, was demolished by the former minister. And they sent us to Bufaso to go and stay till when they give us another place. We waited for many years, they couldn't do anything. In 2011, we applied to the former minister, Barah Mohammed, and he approved a land for us in Wasa. And we are following it with the condition that all the expenses, we are the one to take care of it. We will spend over 120 million on that project. The minister criticized the protesters for not engaging his office beforehand and urged them to follow due process for resolution. Naomi Oleribe, ADBN News.